Hey, and welcome to 996 of Hell for the uninitiated. This is an unedited YouTube vlog discussing everything Arizona Coyotes, and yes, no lights, doing a bare bones reaction video because this is as much effort as the Coyotes put in tonight in their game against the Toronto Maple Leafs. But let me just get this off my chest. Why? Both media teams, both the Coyotes media team and the Leafs media team, always make it such a huge deal when the Leafs come into town. Obviously, there is so much more to this game with Babcock's firing and the Leafs, you know, in such a rut that they had to make this game special. There's a first game under their new head coach, Sheldon Keefe. As I hear people calling him Chief Keefe. We'll see how long that lasts. But honestly, like, Austin Matthews has been in the league for three to four years now. He's been in Arizona numerous times. I don't see any player receiving this kind of treatment when they come into town in any other city. I mean, McDavid's from Ontario. I'm pretty, I didn't, I didn't fact I'm pretty sure he's from Ontario. Uh, when he comes into Toronto, it's not that big. When Jacob Chikrin, probably the highest drafted Florida-born player, goes into Florida, this the Florida doesn't lose their minds marketing to promote Jacob Chikrin coming to town. I mean, it's just both the Coyotes media and the Leafs media just go all out. And I don't know why the Coyotes media does it. Like, it's such a spotlight when Matthews comes into town still. I mean, it's been three to four years. I mean, they just add so much emotion and so much unnecessary just focus on just a simple regular season hockey game of an Eastern team versus a Western team that when the Coyotes lose to the Toronto Maple Leafs, like the fan base gets all riled up. They start singing their woes. I'm I'm in the community. I'm in the Discord. I'm on the Reddit. And people are losing their minds. It's one game. They lost 3-1 against an Eastern team. It's a regulation loss against an Eastern Conference team that has been underperforming all season. And just for some reason, our fans just get so riled up. And it's the fault of the media of just, you know, poking the bear and making this game so much more than it is. It's just a hockey game, and they lost 3-1 against an Eastern team that is just non-consequential at all. Sure, the Coyotes looked disinterested, and they didn't play up to the way they've been playing the past couple games against those games against Washington and St. Louis, which they won. But, I mean, take a deep breath. They got L.A. Saturday, which they probably should win, and then they got a back-to-back on Sunday against Edmonton, which is going to be a huge divisional matchup. I mean, take a breath, take a breather. I mean, it wasn't written in the cards that the Coyotes, that the Coyotes were going to win this game. I and mean, the Leafs just fired their coach. They fired Mike Babcock. They're going to come out flying. It's it's not in the Coyotes' favor this game. I mean, there was reports of journalists saying that 90% of the Leafs team were happy that Matt, Mike Babcock was fired. And so just these players are probably so amped to just play with the leashes off and for a new coach and just to show what they can bring to the table. And you see Tyson Berry scoring his first goal of the season. You see... Engvall scored his first NHL career goal with that amazing speed. Credit to Christian Dvorak for that amazing pass to him. Probably the, the assist of the year on that play. But, I mean, this was a recipe for what everyone knew was going to happen. The Leafs were going to play so laxed and with so much skill and so laissez-faire and just prove to their coach not even proofs or coaches, just play their game. Play just like a nonchalant game, a high-skilled game with not focusing so much on the details of the game that Babcock was drilling in them for the past three years and especially the past 23 games the Leafs have played. I mean, I don't know why this game, every time the Leafs come into town, are just so magnified. And 
and so much emotion in this game that when the Cowboys lose, which they usually do against the Leafs at home, that the fans just get so like upset about. And then the Cowboys return the favor in Toronto all the time. I mean, the Cowboys have a magnificent track record at the Air Canada Center now, Scotia Bank Arena. So, I mean, it's a loss. It's a loss. The Cowboys look disinterested. They couldn't match the intensity of the Leafs for just their first game back, their first day after firing their head coach and such a prominent coach in that, in Mike Babcock, who's like top 10 in the NHL's history of head coach wins. I mean, it's an emotional game for the Leafs, and for some reason, the Cowboys media makes it so emotional for the Cowboys too. It's like, relax. Matthews is going to come here once a year for the rest of his career. We don't need to make it such a huge moment and get the fans like, oh my God, we're on national television. Everyone's eyes is on Matthews in Arizona. It's like, relax. You don't need to make it such a huge story. Like, you've sold your tickets. It's a sellout crowd with all the Toronto fans in the arena. You don't need to make it as big as it is just let it ride let it ride let the game play itself out and just uh yeah it was a weak game for the coyotes and i'm sure they'll bounce back like they do like they've done the whole season i mean they had a bad stretch losing to columbus and minnesota back to back but they bounced back winning against washington and st louis and then losing to minnesota but then rebound against the calgary flames and the LA Kings, they'll write the ship. I mean, this game isn't indicative of the Coyote season. I'm not going to start picking apart this game. It was a one-off game. They better get back against Saturday, in Saturday against the LA Kings. And then they got a big matchup Sunday against their divisional rivals, their first place in division team, Edmonton Oilers. So, Coyotes will regroup. They got a basement team in LA rebound against them and then it's a new day against Edmonton for the Battle of the Pacific Division so it's it for me a bit emotional I don't know just the media mate just I don't know everything about this game it's just always emotional when the Leafs come into town for no reason at all and uh yeah that's it for me thank you for watching this bare bones raw video there's there's a glare here I didn't want to set up properly for you guys just I just want to get this out. I uh, didn't want to set it up. So I'm sorry for that. And thank you for watching. And thank you for your support.